Well, here we are. It's time for the grand decider. Afghanistan against the West Indies. The T20 International Series for the Azizi Bank Cup could not be better set up. Afghanistan winning the toss, making this decision off bat first. They won yesterday in a similar fashion. Started in a blistering fashion yesterday. Azizai dispatching the first ball for a six. And he maintained a similar momentum in this innings also at the age of 21. Sheldon Quattrell, he's been providing early breakthroughs throughout the tournament. One day is also in the T20. Into his 19th match. Umpire says play. A slip in position, third man on the boundary. And a square leg on the boundary. Watching outside the leg is time, it's going to work through the onside. We have to wait for a signal from, from the umpire. Leg by signal. Pitch it straight to the fielder. Change of pace has worked. For salute man. Early breakthrough. There we go. Takes the pace off it. And it's right off the splice of the bat. Loops to cover. And uh, he's not going to put those down. That's exactly what the West Indies would have wanted. He's gone for none. Three for one now, Afghanistan. Well, Herak deeds with bat and ball. Karim Janak yesterday. Picking up five pickets, five for 11, and contributing 26 with five boundaries. Swings it through the onside. One bounce, and ball will trickle into the boundary for four. Holds just over the top of that fielder. Had he been on the edge of the 30 yard circle, it would have been a very, very comfortable catch. Oh, he's got him, got him. There's the salute again, the march and the salute, and Cultural has his second. Excellent start this for the West Indies. Simple catch, you'd have to say, for Shea Hope. And Kareem Janak trying to get after it, trying to play another big shot through the offside. Perishes. Swings it through the onside. That is a delightful shot for six. Well, they lost two wickets, two back-to-back -back wickets, but what a response. Gets hold of that one, waited and dispatched it to mid-wicket for a boundary. That is going to go all the way. Gurbaz decides to say good evening to Keswick Williams. On that occasion, the control was in the hands of Gurbaz. High, wide and handsome over the tallest man in the field, Jason Holder, always in control of that particular stroke. Trouble! Jason Holder picks it up and bang! On target, that was an unnecessary run and probably a wicket gifted away to the West Indies. 44 for 3. Asghar Afghan former captain very much playing a leadership role within the team make himself room full of limb delivery what a shot from Gurbas and that's one of the best shots what a shot works through the onside two is the call can he get there to get to his half century he's determined he's coming back for the second it's a half century a brilliant half century from Gurbas well, 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 in pressure situation of uh, delivering something monumental in this uh, pressure game, but he has stepped up. And that's the kind of stroke Askar Afghan likes to play, except it hasn't gone far enough, but it's been put down by Brandon King on the boundary. No, 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 Brandon King. What have you done? Can't believe it. In front of all the supporters there, they are gleeful. Not so Kyron Pollard, not so Brandon King. High, wide, six, magnificent from Asghar Afghan. He said, I've been dropped once, this time I'll go even further so I don't take any chances. 50 the partnership now, just 39 deliveries. But could that be the end of the partnership? It is. Brandon King, guess what, he takes it. Come on, give us a smile. May have been a simple catch, but it still had to be taken. Maybe a bit of retribution that it went to that man who had changed places with Kyron Pollard. 94 for 4 Afghanistan. Ashka Afghan gone for 24. 
Perfect time for someone like Najibullah Zadran. Attacking left-handed batsman to come in. Oh, that's hit really hard by Gurbaz. Clever, very clever from Gurbaz. He'll get a boundary. Moving around in the crease. Which is exactly where Gurbaz hits it, except he's hit it sweetly. And it's into the crowd for maximum. Yeah, this time it's stand and deliver his fourth maximum. Full toss delivery, smashed it through the leg side. It's clear the boundary, huge six from Ramonala Gurbaz. Fifth of the innings. A loose delivery from Karen Pollard, the batsman in this stage. Like Gurbaz, he cannot ball a juicy full toss to Gurbaz. This time, squeezed it to the offside, but didn't go the elevation. Excellent bowling from the skipper. We know how much this wicket is important for West Indies and for him. Raman Allah for 79, Afghanistan 120 for 5. Mohamed Nabi joins Najibullah Zadran. Yep, he needed to do that, Najibullah Zadran. One of six previously, now seven of seven. Sounded good, sounded very good from Najibullah Zadran. Spagida, clean hit from Najib. What a shot. Still four. Full of length delivery this time. Opportunity. Well done, West Indies, and well done, Williams, in the celebration. Yeah, why not? Excellent effort. You deserve to take this wicket. As he goes for 14, 142 for six. Rashid Khan in, Nabi on strike. Watch at the backward movement. Under the ball. Wonderful strike by the elder statesman. Straight to Cottrell. And Williams strikes again. Despite with the start the West Indies had with the ball, but things kind of fell apart in the middle of the innings. And Afghanistan finished on 105. A fit again, Lendl Simmons, who reportedly was unwell over the course of the first two matches. Mujib Rahman will target the stumps. Can Simmons look to get forward? Smartly played, Lendl Simmons loves that stroke. Oh, he's feeling good now, is Evan Lewis, just slashes at that. Got room, and he said, thank you very much. My calf is feeling a lot better. Ah! Clean them up. That's the one that can be dangerous if you sit and wait for it, and Mujiba Rahman, it counts for Lendl Simmons. Playing his first game of the series, and he has to depart. Yes, so uh, Brandon King walks out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was not from yesterday. Excellent bowling. You talk about Brandon King remembering yesterday. Nabi Nuhak would have remembered it as well. Real skillful young bowler. King makes his way back for one. 16 for two. Jay Hope playing in place of uh, Dinesh Ramdan. Picked up a hamstring injury. This time, full toss delivery. He managed to clear it. The fielders, it's a welcome boundary for West Indies. Oh, smash down the ground. And uh, that'll run away to the boundary for four. That's up in the air. I don't think he's got enough on it. Fielder circling. And oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, he's probably done an outstanding job here, Rashid Khan. Did he save this boundary? It wasn't out the middle of the bat. I thought he was coming in. I thought he would uh, make the catch pretty easily. There he glances at the boundary rope. And now then, has he made the save? Yeah, there he takes the catch. And he puts it back inside. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant for Rashid Khan. There's a big appeal. This will be close. Yeah. The dreaded index finger points to the heavens. 
when Kareem Janak, and he got five for yesterday, and he's picked up his first one here today. Trying to scoop it round the corner, Mervyn Lewis. It hurried on to him, and it looked really good in real time. A big wicket, Mervyn Lewis depart, 24. West Indies struggling, 42 for three. Bit of a blow for the West Indies, Shimron Hetmeyer walks out at number five. One, one. Slaps it through the covers. It's going to pick up single. Oh, misfield. That's gone for four. That's very poor. And West Indies will want more of that from Shea Hope. That's been hit really well, really sweetly, and goes all the way for six. <laughs> misfield again. This will run away for two runs here. Good commitment from Asghar Afghan. Mujib cleans up. Look at this again. This was the effort, of course, on the boundary from Asghar Afghan. Again, he's done a good job. Oh, on the way back, did his right hand make any contact with the ball? If it didn't, he's clear. Well, we've got proven wrong again. This time, no, it's gone out. Rashid got his first wicket. The danger, Sherman Hitmeyer. And great catch from ex-skipper Azharavan. Hitmeyer goes for 11, 80 for 4. Captain joins the party. That's excellent delivery. Oh, this time, played it really well. Lovely strike for 4 from Shea Hope. Driven very down the well ground, well it's 50 well up for Hope, 50 of 43, well it's second T20-50. Doesn't read that, nor does the keeper. That one is the googly, and that'll beat everybody and get down to the boundary for four. Slow one, he swings it through the onside, will be taken by the fielder on the boundary. A game-breaking wicket, Naveen Ulhak strikes. He's a cool, cool customer, is Naveen Ulhak. Karan Pollard gone for 11. 112 for 5 now. Jason Holder comes out to bat at the age of 28. Slow ball bouncer, pummeled away through the leg side, in the gap, gets to the boundary for 4. Straight away, he's after it. Got him, straight to Eskai Afghan. That is an important wicket, huge wicket. It's Shea Hope. It's perished. Trying to muscle one over extra cover. All he can do is find the man, Ashkar Afghan, at extra cover on the edge of the circle. Didn't quite get the elevation. So Shea Hope, 52 or 46 for him, 118 for six now. Kimo Paul has come out to bat at the age of 21. That's up in the air. Will it go all the way? No! Mohammed Nabi takes the catch on the boundary edge. Another one for Naveen Ulhaq. Here we go then. Last delivery to make things formal. Another slower ball. And they can now officially celebrate. They can now officially call themselves champions of the Azizi Bank T20 Cup. And that means a whole heap to the supporters that have come here, to the team on the field, to all.